Okay, so this is freenas.org where you can get this software. Um, opening up the door, here is the old server I pulled out of the trash. Uh, we've got this four gig flash drive that we're running the FreeNAS OS off of. I'll turn it around here, you can see um, nothing fancy, Xeon processor, only two gigs of RAM, hoping to get to four later. Um, four drives, laptop 500 gig, the two 250s that originally came with the machine, and then another used 500 gig drive I just had laying around from an Apple. And regular Nick in the back, this is our bottleneck. It's 10 100. Gigabit is on the way. So we can get past that little thing and make things faster. But for now, we got a gigabit switch. Then it goes into the wall, comes out into surprise. Another gigabit switch, which actually powers uh, our entire desktop PC workbench. And then there's one more um, Mac way over there that we use to run the machine for the TV. Now, uh, right real quick, I'm gonna log in to our NAS and just give you a quick tour. Very sweet setup out of the box. I just followed the tutorials online, but as you can see, I'll pull up our uh, drives and you'll see the two 250s and the two 500s. Um, I just used the tutorial as well and went straight through and created one ZFS volume. So there's the four drives and here is our volume. You'll see uh, I've actually already got some junk on it. There it is. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is a quick speed test. Now, again, we haven't got the gigabit card in the server yet, but as you can see, um, I've got a uh, iLife and iLife folder right here. It is what, 2.9 gigs? Yes, 2.9 gigs, so we'll close that. And I'm just gonna open up the mapped drive to the NAS. As you can see, it's right there. Go ahead and drag this folder over and bada bing, we have got some super speed here. Now, our, our network is all gigabit, like I keep saying, except for the card in the server. Um, I'll go ahead and post an update when that happens. For now, you can check the links uh, in this post on YouTube, uh, you'll get the links to get to the free NAS and tutorial and all that stuff to get you set up. I would say definitely worth the time. If you've got a PC laying around, you can throw some drives in it. Uh, in a few minutes, you've got a nice NAS set up, uh, nice and speedy. Highly recommended. Thank you.